Welcome to the Unity FMOD video tutorial series. At this one, we will design a layered theme songs in FMOD and use them in Unity. There are some approaches we use in FMOD to randomize or make it sequential, and I hope we will trace them. Also, we can check the wise edition of this series to keep up what is that sound design about. First of all, we pile all the sounds we needed to create the music in the assets folder in FMOD project. After piling the parts, go to the events tab and create a 2D timeline. It doesn't have any 3D attributes so we don't need to create it as 3D. There will be two approaches, one will hold all part parts looping and another one will use parts inside as reference then loop. Let's go with the first one. Design the four bars of looping songs by dragging and dropping needed assets into the event. If you need a multiple track approach, you can right click and add multi instrument, then you can drag drop into multi playlist. First event will sound like this. Now I'll disintegrate parts into different events, then use these events inside in another one. Almost the same approach for background theme. I think it's clear to follow how did I design these elements. You can either use first or second variation in game. I don't think there is much difference between them, but I prefer stamp one instead of book looping one because it eases to adapt different stamps in loop order. It is done, now we need to assign these events to the bank. Choose the events you want to use, right click the assign to the master bank, then build and save. Now we can open the unity project. In unity, let's start with checking if everything is ok. We can do that by opening fmod wizard and check all the steps on the left side. No problem in FMO, so I can create audio manager object. This object will handle the audio executions and will play the background music. Create an empty object and name it audio manager. Add FMOD event emitter component, choose execution times and event, then play it. It's working without a doubt. But there is something bugging. Where is the bank handling? Let me show you. Open the FMOD edit settings. Under initialization, there is a drop down menu called load banks. So far, we only have one master sound bank, and the default settings shows FMOD loads all. 
but if we have more than one sound banks, it can be hefty to load them all. So change it to specify and add which banks you want to load. I'll load master that bank only and test if the event works still. But if I want to control when to load sound banks, I can do another two. Change specify to none in F mode settings, go to audio manager object, add F mode bank loader component, then change the execution times and the bank you want to load it. All right, enough with the bank. Let's go scripting. Create a new script named Audio Manager. Now to series parse. There are a couple things I need to create for posting that event. There are two classes of F mode, which we should observe what they are. F mode Unity and F mode. At tenth line, we create an event reference variable. This is a reference for the event, not the event itself. At 11th line, we create an event instance. That instance came from fmod.studio class. This is where the fmod execution is happening. I will drop a link below about fmod and fmod unity classes, so it will clarify your minds better. And add a boolean to hold playing status. Time to mimic the previous session. In start function, create an event instance by loading the event reference in it. Check if that instance is valid and if it is, play it. There are three ways of creating an event instance. It might be confusing and unnecessary, but I'd rather show you. At 22nd line, create instance has three overloads. It can accept event reference, string, or fmod.qeid. I'll create that instance with all three to show you how to make it. First one is the one we have done. Second one will be qeid, but what is qeid and where to find them? GUI ID is a special ID that FMode Studio assigns all the events. You can find them under Event References Details or inside the FMode Studio by right clicking the event and copying GUI ID. Then take that GUI ID and parse it by fmode.guiid.parse function and hit play. Sure that works, now the another one, string. String should be the path of the event. To find it, open event browser inside the Unity F mode menu on top. Find the event and copy the full path section under details. After paste it in the function, play it. It didn't work, isn't it? Because when we load banks, we only loaded master bank. This bank also has a sister bank named master string bank, which holds the string data. So go to the place you loaded the bank and load master strings bank as well. It should work now. I'll also drop another link about strings banks in F mode so you can keep up.
All three variants tested and proven. Now we can continue the implement stopping function for the playing event. It's easy, just one liner code. But the function asks us for stop mode. Stop mode can be immediate or allowing fade out. Let's go with the immediate and hear it. As the function set, it stopped the music in an instant, which is not cool to hear. So I want to set it fade out, but where are the fade out settings actually? If you also follow the Vice version of this video series, you can see the stop function at Vice has parameters for fade out. To make that happen, we should create a modulation for the event. Inside FMOD Studio, open the project, find the master channel of the event, right click the volume knob and add modulator. Set the parameters you want, the important one is release for fade out, but also attack can be useful for fade in. First great, so keep that modulation thing on your mind. It's very useful and smooth. Now let's go with the pause and resume executions of the event. Whenever I hit the same key, it will pause and resume. It's that simple. Actually it's even more simple than this, but I want to show you these steps. You can use is playing boolean as parameter and change the boolean value whenever we hit the key. Pause or resume also worked and the tutorial is done, but actually isn't. Now I want to implement the background music ability to the level 1 of the game. Broke. Both of the events are playing at the same time. By the logic, it shouldn't because that audio manager doesn't exist at this level. But FMOD Studio Core, the FMOD.studio class and its organs, didn't stop that event and kept it alive. So we can do that manually by a couple ways. I'll show you the one I like the most. Put that one liner function, which grabs the master bus and stops all events rotating. Now, whenever this trip starts, it stops all the events playing and starts playing the rest. Alright, that's it for this story. I hope it didn't sound messy. If you stuck at any point or have any suggestion, please let me know. Till the next time, have a good day.